Fade In, Carnegie Screenwriters Show about the film industry in Pittsburgh. I'm your host, Caroline Collins. And with me today is actor, writer, director, and jag of all trades, Pittsburgher Bob Scott. Bob, thanks for joining us. I'm very glad to be here, Caroline. Glad to have you here. Yeah. So you are a jag of all trades. Uh, yes, okay. sometimes just a jag, but yeah, <laughs> I do a little of this and a little of that. And so. you did a little of this also. A little I, of this. I've you, sat in that you've chair. You've been in this chair before. Interviewing guests. That's here, right. Yeah. So I will try to live up to your standards in this interview. <laughs> I think it's going to be the other way around, actually. So. Yeah. Well, tell me, it, you are you you do all those things. You do host. You do act. But how did you get started in this in this industry? Uh, well, it was a long time coming. <clears throat> um, I was a late bloomer. <laughs> Although as a kid, I enjoyed creative endeavors. I liked mm -hmm. to uh, make up stories and uh, write stories and doodle and draw. And uh, yeah. I was in a garage band in high school. You know, we what weren't very good. Um, Everything Under the Sun. We, we went by a couple different names. Okay, but I thought you just made that up on the yeah, spot. I think you weren't I really did. in a band, yeah. were you, Bob? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I, I forgot actually, to tell you, you have to be honest in this interview. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Should we start over? <laughs> that's a refreshing change. Somebody on camera that's being honest. Ooh. 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 Yes. I, actually, I was the fifth Beatle love. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I was in a high school band. I was, uh, some buddies of mine had a band, and I was their, their roadie. Not their Ooh. groupie. No. Their roadie. Big difference. And then, they asked me to sing with them, so I did for a while. And, wow. But then, you know, life interferes. You get out of school and right. start working, get married, raise a family. But um, when I was in my 40s, I was going to night school at Point Park. Well, it was college then, Point mm. Park University, and uh, got into writing, took some acting classes, started writing scripts, you know, and it sort of led me down this path to here with yeah, you. So. Right here, and this is the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> hey, that, that's fine. This is great. You know? But you started essentially writing when you started. I did. I did. Professionally. I, I, uh, I got into writing when I was going to night school and took some creative writing classes and uh, was writing some poetry and short stories. And I um, started writing with a buddy of mine. His name is Ken Lavars. Mm -hmm. Still works at AT and T. We wow. were technicians there. Wow. I retired, and he's still there holding down the fort. But he had some ideas for scripts, and we collaborated. We actually wrote, uh, I think, six feature-length screenplays, a um, couple of which aren't too bad, <laughs> and a stage play that we adapted from a novel. And um, we wrote some short stories together. Great. Were they published? Those stories. Um. I think one of them was mm -hmm. in some obscure publication. I have had some poetry published, and I did a few uh, freelance uh, journalist pieces for the Post Gazette. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it, I took some acting classes, and then got bit by that bug, and that sort of led me into theater. Yeah, and that's where you really started acting was in the theater, right? Here right. in Pittsburgh, Little and that was what the old Schoolhouse Players was that the first theater uh, company? Actually, I got my start at Little Lake okay. Theater mm -hmm. out in Cannesburg. Yeah. Um, I was forty-eight years old the first time I ever stepped on stage wow. in a play, and it very was very brave. Yeah, it's yeah. quite an experience. Yeah. Some great people out there. Sonny Disney, uh, Fitchett cast me and directed the play, and a lot of good people. But yeah, from there it was you audition. Mm -hmm. You take classes, you meet people, they say, hey, come out here and audition for us, you know, we're doing so and so. So, yeah, yeah the old schoolhouse players, stage 62 in Carnegie, uh, and at South Park Theater, and it's sort of, you meet people and you just branch out. Well, you helped to co found South Park Theater, did you not? No, not no. Um, Shakespeare in South Park. Sorry. But it's, yeah, Sorry. not South Park no, Theater. That's okay. been around for quite a while. Okay. Some really great people okay, there, but you. yeah, um, I had done some acting there and I directed a show for their main stage and suggested doing Shakespeare on their outdoor stage. Okay. So they sort of gave me carte blanche and we started uh, Shakespeare in South Park which great. ran I think four seasons. Uh, yeah, so we did a lot of uh, great shows out there on their outdoor stage. And, and did you do that as an actor or did you direct the, the Shakespearean plays? Uh, both actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I directed, um, let's see, I directed uh, Merchant of Venice, Taming of the Shrew, Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth. Can I say that in here? We're not really a theater. Is it right? a theater? I don't know. I guess we'll yeah. find out. Macbeth. <laughs> and uh, and then I was in a, a couple shows there too. So, and um, 
most recently I did I directed Julius Caesar with the South Hills players. So. Okay, great. You know. So you're still doing that? Yes, actually, in fact, uh, just the end of February with a group called the Heritage Players, we did, we did a, a couple evenings of what we called Fifty Shades of Shakespeare, oh my. <laughs> which was uh, sort of looking at, at the Bard's takes on love and hate and passion and uh, pain, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to do different scenes, you know, things like Romeo and Juliet or Taming of the Shrew, but also um, Othello. Oh, great. Yeah. You know, the scene where he kills Desdemona, yeah. spoiler alert. Spo um, and uh, I got to do bucket rolls of, of King Lear and Richard III, so oh, it, it was a nice mix. So I directed a few and was in a couple, so yeah. really great people there. So. That's terrific. Yeah, so it's, you know, Shakespeare's always been a passion of mine, even when I was a kid, so. Really, not many kids are passionate about Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was a weird kid. Okay, so. there you go. <laughs> I, I was a bookworm. Established that. You know, haunted the library, read everything I could. So. Yeah. yeah. And then, like I say, you get away from that and then I was very fortunate to be able to kind of come back to these artistic endeavors later in life. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've been very blessed in that respect. So. Yeah. And uh, sort of branched out into film. You know. Well, that's what I was going to ask you then. Of course, while you were acting and directing, you were still writing. And in fact... Still writing. Um, wrote some short scripts, some of which we've actually produced through Carnegie yeah. Screenwriters. Um, well, let's talk about CSW. That's what brings us here today. This Fade In is a show that is produced by Carnegie Screenwriters, of which Bob is our president. So because nobody else wanted the job. <laughs> Tell us how you got that job, Bob. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a funny story. It's a true story. Years ago, and we actually formed in about 1998, mm -hmm. the original members, uh, Bob Skorik, our judge Bob, is one of the original members also. Who is our producer. He's our producer here. Um, we were taking classes at Pittsburgh Filmmakers. We took screenwriting classes with Lorraine Heidekat mm -hmm. and Jeff Monahan, yeah. and a group of us sort of started meeting outside of class and became what is now Carnegie Screenwriters. Yeah. Um, most of those other people have gone on to other endeavors but uh, some of them still hanging on there is still a core group Judge, uh, Bob, Judge Bob and I are actually I think the only two original, original. okay dirty dozen yeah but uh, yeah. like the Wendy Groob came in very early and at Beth Rohash and, and yeah. some uh, some of the others Bob Podrigal. Bob Podrigal has came along a few years ago yeah. yeah so we've picked up a lot of people since then yourself right and, and Jim right. Helfrich and the, so many other talented people really grown now the meetings, uh, I think we're going to need a bigger meeting. Yeah, right yeah, we're going to need a bigger And when Bob room. Bob Podrigal came along, that's when it sort of, uh, I don't know, came together, I guess, under the Carnegie Arts Initiative. Is that correct? Yeah, we had often talked about um, incorporating as a, a 501c3 nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually worked with a volunteer lawyer from the uh, Council for the Arts. Yeah but we never quite pulled the trigger on it. We didn't have the money for the filing fee, quite yeah. frankly. <laughs> but yeah, with, with Bob Podrigal, who's on the board of the Carnegie Arts Initiative, um, he suggested we go under their umbrella, which we are. So That's great. You know, we, any money we take in, whether it's dues or money we make at uh, Third on Third and other mm -hmm. events where we take donations, goes into its own account, and we've used that to fund Films. A lot of short films. A lot yeah, of short films, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've our own projects and other filmmakers who work with us, you know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. make some wonderful films. We're able to help out, maybe give give a little money to Yeah. So, and yeah. Uh, the really I think the the beauty of it is that core group who are able to support each other and work on each other's projects. Right. And there have been how many would you say films have come out of Carnegie Screenwriters at this point? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I'd have to look, but maybe a dozen. I mean, yeah, that that's does that sound about, about right? right? I yeah, think so. I know uh, yeah. over the years, and unfortunately, we've had some in the past that just never saw the light of day for yeah. one reason or another. Mm -hmm. But we also have some that are out there now that have been at festivals or, or screenings, and you can find them right. on IMDb. You can look under Carnegie Screenwriters as the uh, producer. production, mm -hmm. yeah, produce, production company, production company. So. Right. Yeah, and uh, started doing the 48-hour film festival with a group of CSW members. Yes, we actually we got on board the very first year they had it here in Pittsburgh, which I'm thinking might have been 2009. Mm -hmm. um, 
we had one of our members at the time, Paige Berry, uh, had graduated from the Art Institute. She went there for filmmaking and okay. is a writer, producer, director, and so she kind of took the helm there. And we, we kind of shifted from being a group of disgruntled writers sitting around <laughs> complaining that nobody would read our scripts right. to where we could actually get filmmakers in the group, people with experience, and go out and make our own things. Do something you know? about it yeah, instead of so, complaining. Yeah. And I uh, suppose you had a lot of good material because you, at the meetings, everybody yeah. sort of workshops their own yeah. scripts and everyone reads them and gives feedback. So, uh, so they're. There was a lot of material there to make. There was uh, sometimes, uh, like with the 48-hour film project, which if you're not familiar with it, it's literally 48 hours to make a short film from a Friday night till you turn in Sunday night. And um, we'd get a lot of entries, and then we'd have to go through them and uh, pick one, mm -hmm. usually based on not only the story, but can we shoot it in 48 hours? Yeah. Is it doable? Do we have a location? You know? yeah. Do we have actors? So. Yeah. But yeah, we did um, since I think 2009. We've done every year except one. We took one year off because everybody was busy on other projects. Yeah, but, yeah. which is a good thing. Yeah, but yeah, uh, we a few years ago we won best cinematography for a horror short called Test 89, which Laurie Smith uh, partially wrote, directed, uh, edited. You know, so. And you were in that, were you not? Um, yes, I have a, a cameo. Cameo. <laughs> As cameo. a disturbed mental patient. Typecasting. It was it was but, a stretch, uh, folks. Yeah. And I think we have a clip of that. <laughs> figure it. Figure it. They figure it. How did they? This patient was admitted about eight years ago. He's delusional, paranoid, schizophrenic. He has no chronic medical conditions, and he has no living family members. Ah! So other 48-hour film festival entries, I am, I am trying to set you up to mention I know. Well, we're another getting one there. that yeah. perhaps you this, might want to talk about. This past year, this past year we got the, the big enchilada for the uh, best in city for Pittsburgh. Uh, Happy Birthday to Me, written by Wendy Groob and directed by Caroline Collins. Now that you mention it, <laughs> it was really shameful. It was shameful, but shameful, um, yes, shameful it was. Plug. But it no, won it was... Best, uh, best Film in Pittsburgh, Best Writing for Wendy Groob, right. which is quite a feather <clears throat> in the cap of our screenwriting group, I think. Yeah. Best yeah. Actress for Jill Black, our, our lead. Uh, oh, Best Sound Design. And, and uh, Editing. Uh, no. Or, uh, oh, best use of uh, dialogue. Best right? use of dialogue. That was it. Yeah. Best use yeah. of dialogue. Um, so yeah. yeah, that was very successful. And you got to travel out to Seattle earlier this I month did, to get Bob. the award, right? Thanks for mentioning <laughs> <laughs> that. You did. We'll uh, just kind of reverse things right, here now. So Tell us about that. You cannot uh, help yourself from hosting, can you? <laughs> well, Bob, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> no, that was a great experience, though. It was really. Um, it was really fun to be in Seattle because I hadn't been there before, and I was accompanied by Crystal um, Smith, who is our, one of our members, who was also a producer, and Patrick Connor, who was uh, one of our actors, and we got to sort of mingle and meet with filmmakers from around the world. There weren't just um, U.S. cities, but people from, gosh, Colombia and Venezuela and the Netherlands. It was amazing the amount of people who were there. And, Got to show all of the films. We got to go and pick up our awards, so it was really fun. Mm -hmm. And now we need to um, have a trophy case, I think, for Carnegie yes. Screenwriters. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> for now, you you can keep it on your mantle. Okay, that's yeah. where it is. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Shoo. Uh. But we also do a lot of other things, right? T let's talk about Third on Third because I think that's something fun that people can actually come to. It's at the Third Street Gallery in Carnegie, and it is the third Monday of every month? Um, most months, we'll most say. Months. You know, sometimes we'll take, take a little hiatus, like during the yeah. winter, but yeah, we'll yeah. pick it up again. And people from uh, CSW generally have short scripts, and we have actors come, and they, they read it. They do a, a <clears throat> we call it a seated reading, but mostly it's a standing reading, I yeah, think. Yeah, 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 standing. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's our members, plus we've had other writers from outside the group um, submit scripts. Mm -hmm. Uh, short 
screenplays, fe we've done feature length screenplays, we've done uh, teleplays, stage plays, yeah. you know, and it's, it began really years ago, it, there was a group called Sunday Night Live, who on Sunday nights would do live readings of, of mostly plays, yeah. and when a group of us started coming in with our scripts, they, they opened it up to screenplays. Okay. And then uh, they eventually folded, but Randy Laxton was one of the producers, and he's uh, also a member of Carnegie Screenwriters. Yes. So we kind of started it up again. We were meeting at uh, Pittsburgh Filmmakers, at the screening rooms out there to read, and then Third, third Street Gallery, Phil uh, Savato. Phil Savato has been very generous very, with his time very supportive and his space. Of us, really know. supportive and supportive of local film. Yeah. And uh, as is Carnegie, the, the borough of Carnegie, I would say, is the most supportive town of, for filmmakers. The mayor is wonderful, and the you know the shop owners are wonderful. The the neighbors have mm -hmm. been great. Everyone's so supportive. So I think we've shot several films there with we have, yeah. CSW members. We've shot some actually in the gallery, some mm -hmm. of our 48-hour film ones. Uh, Jim Helfrich directed one a few years ago called The Art Lover that we shot. So it was perfect. We shot it in the gallery. Okay. And we've also shot like around there, like you say, those people are so so open to us. They are, they're wonderful, so yeah, supportive. Yeah, yeah it's a great town. Some of the bars, town. restaurants. Um, yeah, Riley's Poorhouse has been wonderful. Streets and alleyways. Yes. You know, <laughs> supportive streets and alleyways. Yeah, so. <laughs> but it, it's interesting, it's kind of serendipity that a group called Carnegie Screenwriters ended up based in Carnegie and doing yeah, things Yeah, that's now. very strange, really yeah. just a coincidence, I it guess. It is, huh? because <laughs> we, we actually picked the name because we were meeting when we first started doing this, we were meeting at the Carnegie Library. But the Carnegie Carnegie Library, yes? The, the main branch in Oakland. Oh, all yeah. this time I thought it was the no, Carnegie Carnegie. No, it was, it was Carnegie. the main branch out in Oakland. They gave us a day. meeting room. and uh, I'll be darned. You know, so we, we were looking around for a classy name. And what's classier than Carnegie? It's you know? pretty classy. Andrew in Carnegie, style. Carnegie right. Library, the borough of Carnegie. So. Right. Oh, that's very funny. Yeah. All of this time I literally thought it was... Yeah, a lot of people think that. You know, we should probably mention that at a meeting. Uh, or maybe I'm the only one who's in the dark. That's possible. <laughs> No, I'm sure is. that, yeah, outside of a few old timers, um, yeah. that uh, we're, uh, yeah, everybody either assumes it's Carnegie, the town of Carnegie, or Carnegie Mellon. True, yes, you know, yes. Which is okay. Which we're open to a yeah, partnership we're, with we're CMU, so if anyone out there would CMU. like to call Bob yeah. before he flees town. <laughs> Bob, tell us, you are, you are soon to, uh, to leave well, the beautiful borough of Carnegie and the city of Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my wife and I are um, looking to retire somewhere closer to a beach with some sand. and Erie? Um, Erie. You could come it's back for eerie. meetings, that's it's, only two hours. Uh, actually, we were looking at Sandcastle. Oh, so. nice. <laughs> it's even closer to home. Yeah, now, we, you know, we've been looking at uh, on the East Coast at uh, Virginia Beach area, Rehoboth Beach, somewhere down in there, you know. Yeah. Hopefully somewhere with a, a thriving arts community. Yeah, absolutely, where you can still do your acting. Yeah. You can always do your writing, of course. Yeah, well, that's tend to uh, take some time just to write, so I, yeah. I've got some scripts I need to finish up. So, there you go. You know. I know just the group to produce them for you when you finish them. <laughs> we'll talk And you're all invited to come to the beach with us. So how's you that? heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we've, uh, you know, we've had a, a, a great run so far, and, and I have been president mainly because, like I say, nobody else wanted it. <laughs> uh, but we are actually moving to uh, incorporate a board and, and do all that, yes. you know, Really formalized things. Really formalized things, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. But, uh, this group has grown so much. I mean, from the days when there were two or three of us sitting around yeah. in the, a table in the library and oh, let's go get a beer, you know. Yeah. To now, like you said, our meeting room is overflowing. It is. People, a, people so. are dragging in chairs mm -hmm. to every meeting, which is great. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure one of them will pick up the mantle that you will drop as president. <laughs> I, for one, I'm not going to the bathroom at any future meetings. <laughs> yeah, that's how I <laughs> ended up as president. A true story. I went to the bathroom when I came back. They said, congratulations. So have an iron bladder and hold it. <laughs> but I, I think our, our swell in, in um, population, our, our boom here, has really been since you joined the group, Caroline. So. Right. I, I really think that's where, that's the draw, really. You know, I, I mean, so, for yeah. so many, so many people. <laughs> but, uh, I don't leave me, Bob. Don't leave me. <laughs> But yeah, you guys will do great. It'll be, it will be fun. It will continue because really you and, and the original members helped to set up this great group that we have now. Yeah. And, and a little known fact, Caroline and I have actually acted together in a film. We did, that's you know? right. That's right, another shameless plug.
it is a cute film. That was a lot of fun to do. It was, it was sort yeah. of a throwback, black and white, old school. Black and school. white, silent yeah. film with yes. old-timey music. Very and short. Also starring Katie Grant. The, the lovely and talented Katie Grant. Katie She's Grant, adorable. Who has yes. been in some of our films, and mm -hmm. I've done uh, many theater productions with her. Yeah. She's uh, great. She's, she is wonderful. She's she very is. talented. She's very, very talented, yes. yeah. Uh, a lot of really talented folks who come to work on CSW um, projects, which is great. I mean, within the group, we have great writers and directors and producers, but we're able to pull really good talent from Pittsburgh, I would say, acting. Oh, yes. and and well, you had mentioned uh, Crystal Smith earlier. Yes, who, yes, one of our producers, writers and producers, yeah. yeah. Now, she did some stuff, um, what was it? Earlier, it was last year. It was last year, about this time last year, actually, yeah. for the Pittsburgh Swan Day. Swan Day. And yeah. Swan Day is an international day uh, that it stands for Support Women Artists Now. Mm -hmm. And um, Tressa Glover, a fantastic actress and producer, um, organizes the Pittsburgh event. And mm -hmm. it's, it's film, it's uh, painting, it's readings and uh, plays, they, and it's all produced in one day, and Crystal really wanted us to be a part of that, right, and, right. and she wrote a short script uh, called Hand Me Downs, and that was another project that we made very quickly, and, uh, and it was the, the first film, I believe, that was shown at Swan Day in Pittsburgh, so that yeah. was exciting. Yeah. I think we might have a clip of that, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna wear this everywhere. Can I wear it to swim lessons? No. Can I start taking tap dance lessons? No. What about gymnastics? What happened to soccer? But then I can't wear this amazing piece of history. Maybe she'll be in a pageant someday. Oh, no, <laughs> no. Let's do the can-can. Uh, Put your hands on your hips. I'll show uh, you some high kicks. I'm gonna smile and you're gonna wave to your mom. Oh. Da, 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 da. Hey. <laughs> Come on, Robert, sweetie. Come on, we can't keep him waiting. Cut. Well, what's next, Bob? I mean, are you doing any projects before you leave? Are you... Um, don't really have anything in the hopper. I've taken some time off from theater now since we... I finished up with, you know... Being King Lear, I mean, you can't top you that. You cannot so, top uh, that. You absolutely cannot. But, uh, yeah. Um, you know, just uh, some family things and sure. taking care of the house and all that. And then, you know, writing. Writing, writing, writing. Writing, writing, writing. Just and handing off to handing off Carnegie Screenwriters leadership to you know, right. wonderful people like to perhaps Jim Helfrich is I think a Jim? fantastic choice. Oh, he would be. I would certainly vote for him were he nominated. <laughs> 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 Just in case you need some ideas. Um, and in what direction do you think Carnegie Screenwriters screenwriters will head in the future? I mean, we have this show that really originated um, as Script to Screen? Script to Screen, yeah, a while back here at PCTV. Mm -hmm. It was actually an hour in length. And again, same format, interviewing writers and filmmakers, yeah. actors, and then incorporating things like skits or, or little things, ah. you know, to fill out the time. And right. uh, Paige Berry was a uh, former member, was, well, actually she's still a member, was a producer and director. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, and we've yeah, worked we, on a couple documentaries. That's right, yes. You know, so yeah. um, uh, We've also partnered, I think, with some of the other local Pittsburgh yes, film we've, groups. We've collaborated with uh, Steel Town Entertainment Project. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, some of us, uh, a few years ago, volunteered with the uh, Three Rivers Film Festival for Pittsburgh filmmakers. We've volunteered with the Pittsburgh Film Office in the past, kind of trying to collaborate and work with all these disparate groups and bring us yes. all together, you know. Um, yeah, I think we have really grown by leaps and bounds in membership and, and making films and documentaries and a TV show. It's, it's yeah, great. Uh, it I think great. if we can add an educational aspect maybe, you know. I like that, yeah. That would be good. Uh, yeah. It's something we've talked about, uh, reaching out and you know, getting students uh, you know, mentoring them and training them in, in this, what we do, you know, the writing and the filmmaking. So. Yeah, and bringing in some new new ideas, new talent. New ideas, yes. And, yes. Uh, young blood like yourself, you know. <laughs> like, uh, don't leave me, Bob. Um, 
<laughs> uh, and, and if anyone wants to join the group, we're always looking for new members always as well. Always looking for new members. Our meetings, we meet the third Saturday of every month at the Mount Lebanon Library. Right, not um, the Carnegie Library. Not, yeah, the Mount Lebanon Mount Library. Mount Lebanon yeah. Library. And uh, it's 10 a.m., um, third Saturday, uh, generally a third Saturday. Occasionally we have to change it up. Yeah. Um, and you can find our, our uh, website, www.carnegiescreenwriters.com, all one word. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Don't um, have to be a member, you can just join us. You don't us have to be a member. Um, you know, we have people who pay dues, and the money, again, the money goes to help fund these projects. But, uh, you know, we're open to anybody. Yeah. Uh, beginners, experienced screenwriters. Um, Scott White, who's one of our members, came here a couple years ago to teach at CMU. Right. Worked in the industry for a long time out in L.A., uh, writing, script doctoring. Uh, Mike Bazzelli, who's a member, yeah. stand-up comic, writer, worked in L.A., reading scripts, uh, writing. So we have all levels of experience. We do. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Well, thanks so much, Bob. It's been such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you, Caroline. Yeah. It's a pleasure. <laughs> thanks for joining us on Fade In. I'm Caroline Collins. I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>